Hey guys, Citizen Zero here, bringing you some more State of Decay 2. So today I'm going to do a sort of post-apocalyptic cribs episode where I'm going to show you the shipping container fort that you pick up in the southwestern part of the map. I just got this thing fully outfitted. Uh, took me quite a bit of time and took a lot of time actually just to get the money to be able to, or not money, but influence to be able to uh, even pick up this fort. Uh, it's 3,500 influence and you have to have eight survivors to be able to uh, unlock this settlement. But let me tell you, it is worth it. This thing is awesome. Uh, you know, just a couple of the, the main features that it comes with here is uh, you don't need to install a watchtower. Uh, you don't need to install a watchtower because all along the tops of these crates, your uh, survivors are going to post up uh, with their firearms uh, and guard all the corners of your shipping container fort. Uh, so that is one big bonus. Uh, another really nice thing about this fort uh, is because of all these shipping containers, it gives you a bonus to your storage capacity. And what I love the most is that you don't have to install any barracks or beds. It comes with eight beds built in. Uh, so they're provided by the covered areas. And I'll show you where some of those beds are at in this place. But because I have eight people, I didn't need to actually waste any of my slots on beds. Um, and I actually could fit a couple more people since two of my uh, people don't need their own bed so I could potentially have 10 people in my community now just before I walk around and show you what the fort looks like this is the setup I'm working with here uh, so I have a still right here and this is producing water for me mostly uh, I don't really need it to be producing fuel so I don't use any food there but if I did need it to it's there I have a level 3 infirmary uh, which is nice, although it does take up one material per day, and I'll show you sort of where my materials are going in just a moment. Uh, I have the level 3 command center uh, with the antenna installed. Uh, that way I can have five different outposts. Uh, I have the solar array, which is providing my base with power. A little bit of a morale boost. I also have the fighting gem installed. Uh, I don't have a warlord, so I can't uh, upgrade it anymore to like level two. Uh, but it is still giving me plus 20 max health and plus 25 percent fighting experience, which is pretty nice. Uh, the mod I have installed on it is for extra storage. Uh, I don't really need that actually, but uh, I didn't have any better ones to install at the time. I have two hydroponics uh, installed and this is producing a ton of food for me. Uh, this is actually going to give me enough food uh, that I'm going to actually have a surplus uh, with all of my people and that is something that has been a problem for me at my outpost in the past is just maintaining a food for that large population. I have a forge here which uh, is pretty good if you want to change uh, you know, materials into um, scrap or vice versa it's also great for crafting melee weapons now I don't have a character yet who has knowledge of metalwork uh, I'm working on trying to find that because I really want to make some of these uh, awesome crafted weapons and as soon as I do that I will definitely uh, share that with you guys but that rebar blade looks awesome alright so what else do I got here I've got the level 3 storage it actually comes with the level 3 storage uh, it normally uh, it comes with the fire safe stockpile, uh, but because of the way I have my resources set up, I actually changed that to the heavy duty storage so I could have more materials installed. Uh, it also comes with, and this is the other nice thing about it, it comes with a level 3 workshop, uh, which is wonderful. It is so nice to be able to just start off with that level 3 workshop. All right, so that is kind of the setup I have. For the outpost, I have a materials, an ammo, a fuel, and then two medical outposts. Uh, I do the two medical outposts, that way my infirmary is basically just a wash. It's minus two per day, but then I get the plus two back, so I'm not losing any meds there. Uh, as far as my other ones, 
Um, oh, as soon as these seeds are planted, we'll see uh, my food jump up. But even without those seeds planted, I'm still at a surplus of food at plus one. My ammo is at plus one. Uh, and my fuel is at plus one. So everything is looking pretty good here, except for materials. That's the only place I am losing any resources. I thought that was a pretty good trade-off to get a plus one on pretty much everything else for a minus two with materials. I don't know. If you guys have a better setup that you like uh, on this base or any of your other bases, uh, I'd love to hear about it. Share it down in the comments. Uh, you know, if you really like the build I've got going here and it works for you, please hit that thumbs up for me. It really helps out my channel a lot. Uh, as far as the community goes, I am mostly positive. Sometimes they get in a few little spats and it drops down below, but I've never been in the negative morale uh, on this build so far. It's pretty solid build uh, as far as keeping them happy and keeping my supplies up. Uh, this would really be nice if I could just go clear those out, but as soon as you clear them out, they pop right back up. Um, I have tons of effects and going on here. Uh, you guys probably have a number of these as well, just because at this point in the game, if you're able to build this outpost, you should have uh, quite a few of those perks. So uh, this is my threat level and it pretty much is about always at 7. Uh, just from having 8 people it is really hard to get it anywhere uh, too much below that. 8 people is a lot of people. However it doesn't bother me because well I've got 8 people to defend this place. Uh, so it is never really a problem I had when I was first and you can see all the dead zombies through here uh, so when I was building uh, it's very noisy when you're under construction and so my threat level was at maximum and they just were hoarding in this place but taking care of them so right as you come in the front door here open this has got your parking and there's actually only three parking spots but it doesn't really matter you can park as many vehicles out here as you as you really want. So I've got my sweet Jeep there. That was that beauty. Uh, this is pretty much just where I'm storing all of my extra rucksacks. Uh, I've got the old original junker that you start the game with. Don't know why I still have it, but uh, also full of rucksacks. And then the military vehicle that's been upgraded with the heavy armor package, giving it that nice scoop in the front. It's already a pretty armored truck, which is why it's slow as balls. But uh, that armor pack also adds those sweet spikes to the tire. That thing is awesome. Uh, this thing is actually not as tough as you think it should be, as armored as it is. But it works out pretty good killing the zombies. This is the truck. You upgrade it with a medium armor pack to get those sweet lift and tires and these extra fuel tanks here. Also full of some rucksacks. Usually when I'm out making supply runs, uh, this is the truck I use. It gets pretty good uh, gas mileage even though it's super heavy as well and it's quite a bit faster than this tanky thing right over here. Uh, but again, just kind of like leaving these parked vehicles for storage. I don't have any of the super fast vehicles. I know where a couple are at. I just didn't really feel like picking them up. I'm gonna take you through a quick walk around the fort to give you an idea of what this place looks like, and the way I've got it kitted out. Uh, just so you know, this is where I'm talking about down here in this part of the map. Surprisingly enough, there's not actually a plague heart in this town down here, which I thought was a little bit strange but so up here this is my still this is where we're making the moonshine and meth apparently here we go moving on in the tour moving on so this is my hydroponics bay number one Growing some nice herb there. Oh, yeah. Nice little lookout tower. These lights are great, too. So it has one 
facing in on both sides and then two facing out. So it has the entire fort uh, lit up at night uh, as well as really lighting up this outside area so you don't have to worry about uh, getting overrun by zombies at night. This is Hydroponics Bay number two. Kind of looks like number one. Down here is my solar array. We'll get there in a second. This is my fighting gym and yeah 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 kind of wish I had a warlord probably heard it in my other videos I made a mistake and picked Sanders as my leader Colonel Sanders sucks don't pick him this is uh, a great uh, if you have a character who has um, let's see what's uh, electrical so you need to have uh, the second level of uh, utilities so you have to have utilities and then you have to specialize in electrical to get the um, solar power uh, option there and it's worth it at first I actually had um, one of my outpost as a power plant uh, and that was taking up fuel, uh, which was okay, uh, because it freed up another large spot. Um, but it also means I wasn't getting materials and I was using fuel. So uh, overall, I think this build was a little bit better, but uh, there's always sort of a give and a take there. Uh, this is the forge area. Another large uh, outdoor space is required for the forge hoping to find a survivor with metalworking skill uh, soon because I really want to craft uh, my own melee weapons. Uh, nice little lounge area. So we actually have, uh, there's another little storage space in here. Oh, what have I not shown you guys here? There is the command center right up here my little antenna and another little storage space in there so all those little storage spaces count as uh, living space as well this is my workshop the nice level 3 workshop this place is a beast and then we drop right down to our infirmary and that is it that is the whole place I don't actually know where the beds are. They just say that the beds are somewhere inside the containers. But I never actually get to see them. Or at least I've never seen them. They might be somewhere hiding. And I just don't know how to get to them. That's the base, guys. This is definitely something you're going to want to save up your influence and get. Uh, totally worth it. Uh, there has not been a zombie attack that has been anything I couldn't easily handle with this thing and uh, it gives you so many spaces for upgrading your community. Highly recommend this. Hope you enjoyed this video on the storage container fort. Go out, get it for yourselves, tell me what you think, share your builds down in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks again for watching, guys. Take it easy.